oh, someone's here. I see a little one over there. Well, now I see three over there. So, who's here? Make yourself known. Never know if people get the uh, notifications on these or not. Oh, hi, Anna. Hi, Mary. Okay, two people talking and four people in here. I know they don't count me as a person in here, so. I'm sitting at the table today, tonight. We're gonna try some knoppers, or at least am. You're gonna come along for the ride. You ever heard of these? I got them at Aldi today. Of course, Aldi is, if you don't know, a German company. So they are made, they're from, they say they're made in Germany for the U.S. What they are, it says made in Germany because Aldi is a German company. And if you don't know, if you're all into Trader Joe, you California people who like going to Trader Joe, Trader Joe and Aldi are owned by the same people. So if you don't want to pay the outrageous prices at Trader Joe, just go to Aldi. Because all they do is put the different label, like the Trader Low label on one of their stuff and the Aldi label on it on the same product. So frugal tip of the day, go to Aldi. But even Aldi, you know, it's getting to where everything's getting so high that their prices are going up. Their prices on my bag of sweet potatoes went up, I think, about a dollar. Anyway, they're like wafers. They're crispy wafers. They're milk hazelnut wafer. wafer. So they're like those wafer things. You ever remember having those as a kid? The pink, the white, the chocolate ones. But then they've got hazelnut in them right there. That was all day too far to drive. But just in case you didn't know, because you're overpaying it, you're overpaying it that Trader Joe just for the ex ambiance. So they sound good. And they didn't have that much sugar in them. I know I'm a diabetic, but they didn't have that much sugar in them. Um... Compared to what you get, but it says serving size. I don't understand the serving thing. It says, where's it at? I looked at it. Servings one, serving size one piece. So I got to open this up to see what one piece looks like. It's probably a little bit So. Oh, both of them are too far? The, my closest Aldi is in the next town over, which is since we live about part way over to that town it's about 20 miles that way did you guys watch my video on my see the outside of my house i'm probably sitting too far away from the computer i probably should be closer but i am um, my arms are long cool a lot of you guys left nice comments so i assume you enjoyed it so this is, you get a five pack of them for $2 or something. This is what the pack looks like. So you can get individual. And I got four more of them. We'll open them up and see if we give it a go. It says serving size one, serving size one piece. So I assume, does the whole thing count as a piece? That's what I'm taking the serving size is. Is the whole thing. Because it's like this, you don't break it up. It looks like a s'more, don't it? That's what it reminds me of. Thank you, Mary. I like it. I'll have to do you guys the inside um, video sometime. So is that what is it serving? So let's see. I got a napkin. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know if it has marshmallow on it or not. No, there's no marshmallow on it. Let's see. I like hazelnut spread. And Aldi, you can get like the um, Nutella, but the cheap kind. Mmm, that's good. Good. Ooh, I recommend that. That's good. 
one side's the wafer, the bottom part is chocolate, and then in between is like a cream, milk cream, and the hazelnut. Ooh, I'm sorry, you guys. You can't go to Aldi and get you any. I should give it away as a prize. I ship it to you in the mail. Really, Mary? It doesn't surprise me. A lot of people are drawn into. Sorry for talking my mouthful. The whole Trader Joe thing. I went to my first Trader Joe when I went out to Oregon for the first time. And I was like, what's all the hoopla about? This, I could just tell by walking the store, it was the way they were marketing it, made their prices higher. I'm sorry, Mary. Hi, Susan. We're trying. Oh, okay, Susan. We're trying the Knoppers, and they're really good. They're actually so chocolatey, and I, I like chocolate, but I don't eat a lot of it because I'm diabetic. They're about half that. I think I'm going to put the, if it wouldn't go, you know, go stale, I'm not, I'm not going to eat the rest of it because I think half of it's good enough for me, and that would only be nine grams of sugar, which isn't bad for, di for being a diabetic. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to wrap that up back in its package. But that was delicious. I would I would definitely say um, go for it. If you can go if you got an Aldi by you, you can get to it. See how frugal I am? I'm saving the same package it came in. I'm gonna tape it up. No joke, that's me. Here's the tape. It's the cheap tape too. How are you doing, Susan? Did your doctor's appointments go good? Is your leg better? I was going to check in with you, but I, I know how it is to have doctor's appointments all day. I had to go to my anesthesiologist today. Yeah, that's the way, that's the way I think Trader Joe's works, Mary. That's why most people go to it. It's just like a, it's a status symbol thing. Trust me. I'm more, I'm the kind of person you go up to me and say, oh, I like your shirt. I'm like, I got it for a quarter of yard sale. I got no shame. Got no shame in my game. That's what I'm proud of. I ain't proud of like, ooh, I went to Hoity Toity Land. Oh, Aldi does. You know what I found at Aldi today? And I was. Have you guys ever heard of? Um, guess what happened? Oh, I don't know what happened, Mary. Before I tell my story, you tell yours. Yeah, what happened? See, at my Aldi, Susan, I'm not seeing gluten-free bread. I looked at the bread today, and I didn't see any gluten-free. The only thing gluten-free I can find at my Aldi, they must not carry it in my area, is gluten-free wraps. Oh, cool. So you're getting help with that? Good. Um, you should be able to get it hardship deferred. That's why if you prove your income isn't enough to pay, make even a minimum payment, they defer the loan. Yep. Good, Mary. I'm glad. Yeah. Hardship deferment. Always go for that. There's several options when it comes back to paying student loan. That's great, Mary. I'm glad to hear that. But I tell you what I did get it all today. Have you guys ever heard of the bread Ezekiel bread? It's go it comes. It's like Ezekiel. Ezekiel, like the book in the Bible, it even has the verse in the Bible about bread. But anyway, um, it's sprouted grain bread, so it's sprouted instead of the regular wheat and stuff is sprouted. And I found sprouted bread at Aldi that is their brand that is like two, three bucks cheaper than Ezekiel bread because Ezekiel bread can run you like five dollars a loaf, and this was two ninety nine. So I'm gonna try it. Has anybody tried the sprouted bread from Ezekiel? From Ezekiel from at Aldi? I used I was buying the Ezekiel one. Is it good? Oh, no. Yes, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Mary. If you get, if you qualify for disability, I looked that up and I saved it on my computer. All your student loans get forgiven. 
So nobody's tried the sprouted bread. It looks good. I mean, you buy when you buy the Ezekiel, it is in the it's in the freezer section, and you have to keep it frozen or in the refrigerator. The Aldi one isn't, so I know it's not exactly the same, but um, it's pretty much the same. It's got when you have when you eat sprouted bread, it's about the what I've looked up from what they're saying this week is about the the, the uh, sorry I'm following my panel is about the healthiest bread you can eat as far as it's got a lot of protein in it and good carb. So my fingernail keeps chipping. I just keep following it down. So I'm going to try it. This doesn't say keep refrigerated. Oh, okay, Mary. As long as it's not staph infection, it's not staph infection, is it? You don't want to mess with that. My dad had staph infection, ate away his sternum. Because I um, got staph infection when I had an ingrown toenail. The last toenail I had that was ingrown, I got a staph infection in it. I didn't know if they still prescribe Valium because it's such an old, older drug and they have such newer ones. But guess what else I got today, guys? Besides Knoppers. What a strange name for a thing, Knopper. Who comes up with that? Maybe it's German for something. Can you guys see me okay? Let me, ask, let me ask you, is it better with both lights on? Is that better? Before I tell you what I got today. Is that better than just the one light? Or too much? is that too much light? I'll wait and see what you say before I show you what I got. Okay, good. It's not staff or MRSA. That's good. Because I had staff. I had. I, I think I had MRSA. Which is what I had. MRSA staff. Okay, so it doesn't matter either way. Well, well, I'll show you what I got today. Look what I got. Oh, heck no. Not a new boyfriend. Uh-uh. I ain't even looking. Look, jewelry from Shop Goodwill. What? Uh, this is four and a half pounds from a new place I ordered from because it just looks so good online that the picture was really good, right? So this is from the Goodwill Heartland, the Heartland Goodwill, and it's in Iowa City, Iowa. So, would you guys like me to open it for my late night insomniac so you guys can see, be the first to see? And then I'll do a video on it. You want to see? Get my scissors ready. Nope, I do not want a boyfriend. Because of the tentative word there, boy. They all act like boys. I'm happy to do that too. And my, I don't understand neuropathy. And Susan, I know you have neuropathy, right? Some days my neuropathy, my legs aren't as numb as other days. I don't know. Nobody can answer me questions about why that is. Can you guys, okay, here's the box. It's a good box too, because Susan might be getting her stuff in this box. I'm trying to find this cheapest way to ship your stuff to you, Susan. I got a priority flat rate box, and I thought, well, if I can ship it cheaper, I'm going to, and then re refund your money. Do you, want me, you guys ever said, do you want me to open it? Sorry, I was shaking the table. It's because it's on my camper table. It's real wobbly. 
This is the first time I bought from the the Heartland one, the the, the Goodwill Shop Goodwill Heartland. Well, at least in this chat, Susan, you can ask about my car, and I won't say a thing. Something, something flew out of there. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going on down. This little button thing flew out of there. All right, I'll open it for you guys. Then I'll do a video and it'll be real clear because we'll get to see. I'm gonna kind of like take you down a little bit, okay? So you can actually see I am opening it up. So they all come in different packages. Some of them have different kinds of stuff in it. So it's, oh, I like that. I like this foam stuff. I can use that to wrap stuff in. So it's in a big zip block bag. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at that jewelry. It says fashion and it has a sign on it. And it's four and a half pounds. That kind of hurt my arm. Yeah, I do. I say that stuff too, Mary. I wrap stuff in it. And like, because I, I sell other stuff too, it's good to cushion a box with to kind of make the box more stable. When I, when I ship um, things like that are glass and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys back up because you did really see that I open it up. So there was a bag in there of just silver tone stuff that looks oh oh it's a oh they separated a necklace and a and a, and a earring set let's look at that first I don't have Matilda out but so here's the bangle bracelet it's all blinged out with rhinestones. And it's in really good shape. It doesn't look like it's been worn at all. Okay, so this is a necklace and a bracelet and an okay and and a necklace, bracelet, and earring set that matches. Okay. So on a silver tone chain, it's one of those bolo kind of necklaces. And look at this. Wait till you guys see this, what 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 the bolo is on here. Like a bolo tie? Look, I think that's a blinged out monkey. See how it has the things on it? And the back is open. And look, guys, I don't just get this. It comes with matching earrings. Is it a dog? Do you think it's a dog? I don't know. When I first saw the thing, I thought it was a dog too, a poodle. But if you'll look, I'll put you up close. He's got his arms above his head. Like he's a monkey. Do you see now? You can see now where it doesn't look, it looks more like a monkey. Yeah, monkey. And it's on a long silver tone chain, and it's one of those bolo ones that moves up and down. And then it came with, like I said, matching earrings. And a great little bracelet. And I was so happy they, they put it in a separate bag so it didn't get all tangled. Love it. That, what I liked about this is, is is on Shop Goodwill, they just didn't have the picture of the bag. They had all the stuff spread out. So I got to see it. Okay, I've had I've had this exact bracelet before. 
it's on like that sh that um mesh kind of gold tone mesh then it's blamed out with big plastic chunks I'll put it on so you guys can see it yep three pieces isn't that neat I've sold one of these to you guys before. This is a very pretty necklace, and it looks like it had a hang tag on it, and maybe the hang tag fell off. This is, oh, it's, oh, it's signed. I wonder it's pretty. There was a hang tag and the hang tag. It's Crown Trifari. Look at the, um, the pendant on it. That pendant is Crown Trifari. And then it comes on a big heavy chain. And I noticed immediately, I always look at the clasp first. It's a spring clasp, and on the clasp, see that little hook? That's where the hang tag was, and it came off. Maybe I'll find it in this bag. But it says Crown Trifari. It's got it's it's marked right there. It's got the crown over the T. So it's Crown Trifari. Oh, I'm, I'm liking this already. I've only pulled like three things out of here. So maybe I'll shop from the heart one uh, one more often. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. I had a Whiting and Davis bracelet like this before. This is not marked. It's a clamper style silver tone bracelet. And I don't know if you guys can see. I'll try to stay still. It looks like it's got four leaf clovers all over it. Look at that. It's hinged. It's a hinge clamper. Maybe they're not called clampers. It's hinged and then it's hinged and then you it's the kind that you and it looks like it had a hang tag on it too. Or a, it had a safety chain on it, maybe. Yeah, it had a safety chain on it that's missing. It's one of those that you push in and then you clamp shut. Doesn't that look pretty? They're all like they're all like stood up on there engraved. Okay, and on it, these, oh, it's got matching earrings. Look, it's got matching clip-on earrings. No, it's not marked that I can see, Mary, and neither are the, uh, look at the matching clip-on earrings. That is awesome. But the earrings are more gold tone and the bracelet, you can't tell on this light, but they match. They definitely match. They fell out together, see? I must be lucky. This is awesome so far. Ooh, this is Mark. This is Chico's. It's Mark Chico's. It's a silver tone, brutalist, um, hammered look clamper bracelet. It is good. It is good, isn't it? And it's clamper like this with magnetic. And right inside there, it's Mark Chico's. Isn't that nice? Really good shape. Doesn't look like it's been worn. There's no wear on it. Silver tone. I know how you guys like silver tone. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Another silver tone. This is the pendant on the necklace. 
black. It's got like a black onyx thing in it, but I don't know. It's not onyx. I'm just saying it looks like black onyx. Silver tone. I am getting good stuff, aren't I? And it's really a heavy pendant. I know it's glaring. I kind of like put it like that so you can see it. This is a really good bag so far. I mean, just what I pulled out of there right now pays for what I paid for it. Really, guys, it does. And then it's like it's like brushed silver on the back. And then it's on a silver tone chain. Ooh, it's got a hang tag. <gasps> Do you know what this is? This is Whiting and Davis. Uh, yeah. Whiting and Davis is a really good old company. Whiting and Davis necklace, guys. If you don't know who Whiting and Davis is, they they use you can find stuff Mark and you'll find it Mark Whiting Davis, Whiting and Davis, and you'll find it Mark Whiting and Davis mesh bags because back in like the early part of the um, 20th century. In the 20s, they made those mesh bags, 20s, 30s, and um, they made jewelry. This is awesome. I love Whiting and Davis. Okay, and then I got this right, this necklace. Let me get it untwisted for you guys. It's really heavy, so I think it's glass beads. Uh, it also has a hang tag. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, you guys. This is, uh, aren't you glad you came to my late night insomniac? Look at this. Look how pretty that is. That is heavy glass. Guess what the hang tag is? You guys will be able to see this so much better when I do the thing. Uh, Trifari. Hi, Treasured Vintage. I've got so much good stuff in my Shop Goodwill. I just bought, got open it up. It's um, Shop Goodwill from Heartland, Angie, um, from Iowa. And I've already opened up Whiting and Davis, uh, Crown Trifari, another Trifari, and Chico's. This is Trifari. It's cold. It's heavy. It's silver tone like this. There's the Crown Trifari. It's and these beads are like different color blues. And this one almost has a blue purple tint to it. It's not showing up on real good on the camera. What else can I pull out of here? Oh, an owl. Who likes owls? Who likes owls? And it's got a tag on it. Um, AEO is American Eagle Outfitters, right? All right, if you like owls, here's an, here is it's A E O. I think that's a, a American Eagle Outfitters. It's a huge um, gold um, antique gold um, chain, and it's really long. And look at the owl pendant, Susan, and everybody else. It's articulated, and look at that owl pendant. It's enamel, uh, painted enamel. Let's see, it's articulated. And then the eyes are like beads. Yeah, I thought it was. And look at this little feathers on the bottom. Oh, that's adorable. And see, it's really long. I could just throw it over. And it's a lobster class. American Eagle Outfitters. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is the first time I bought from them. I'll probably buy from them again. Like I said, I love the picture on there because they had it all spread out. I fought for this, too. Somebody else was bidding against me, and I was like, you are not good in this. I want it. Here's another necklace with a hang tag. Oh, my. What could it be? What could it be? He needs to come live with you, Susan. Um, I can't tell what this one is. It's a really small hang tag. It looks like a C with a bunch of marks after it. It's a really small hang tag. I'm not sure what this says. Ooh. 
It's like, um, I don't know. It's not a C. It's like symbols, guys. It's a bumblebee. It's like um, a horseshoe shaped like a C. And then it says and and a bumblebee. Does anybody know that? And here it is. Here's the here's the pendant on it. Okay. And it's on a silver tone chain. It's a lobster class with a really small hang tag on it that is symbols. It almost looks like a, a horseshoe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's, it's, um, oh, PD. What's PD? Tell me what PD is. I know what it is. Um, princess something, right? What is PD jewelry? I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now. Premier design. Premier design. Look, a premier design piece. I am like racking up the points here, guys. Premier Design. That was a, um, a Premier Design was one of those ones that they sold from home, right? I mean, you sold them from home like you do Avon. I thought this was a really neat looking um, clamper style bracelet because it's square and you hardly ever see square bracelets. See how it's square? And it's kind of a pinkish beige color with sparkles. I thought it was home party. And then the insides, it's, excuse me, gold tone. Absolutely nowhere. Clamper. I'm going to put it on, show you. It fits me. Square. You don't hardly see square bracelets like that. Never been worn condition. I mean, it is an excellent condition. It's kind of a, I don't know what you call that color. It's got an orange undertone to it. If it fits. I like clampers because I can't get other stuff over my hand. Over my wrist. Or my hand. Oh, my, guys. Oh, my, oh, my. Burgundy brown. Well, it's not really got any brown in it. It might be coming off brown there, but it's got more of an orange tint to it. This is just a stretch bracelet, but it's really heavy silver to metal stretch bracelet. It's not been stretched out. It's really nice. I knew there was quite a few bracelets in here, which I didn't mind because a lot of you guys ask for bracelets. Here's just a black bracelet and you can't tell but there's like there's seams in it like where it's been inlaid I guess silver tone on the inside Ooh, this one just says made in China in it but I really liked it when I saw it on the thing it is a clamper never it looks like it's never been worn silver tone with this black center and, and what do you call that when it's cut like that um Oh, I know what it's called. You know how they got the cut on, cut on it to make it look like it's a jewel? Uh, you missed the square bracelet, the square gold tone clamper. Were you here for that, Susan? And then I had a stretch bracelet that was heavy duty metal. And now I'm on this. This is just a made in China one. Faceted, that's right. Thank you, Angie. Or faceted. And it's real, it's never been worn, you can tell. But it's just a made in China one, but still. It's a um well, which way? I'm backwards here. It's a clamper. Really nice. Here's another clamper, and it's really interesting. It's in the shape of a feather. Like, it goes around your wrists, and both sides are feathers. See that? It's like a brush gold, not a brush gold tone. Um, antique gold tone, I guess you say that. 
And see, that's the part that opens like that. I'll put it on so you can see. Maybe. Might not fit me. It's like that. It's like a feather wrapped around her wrist. Isn't it? That's why I didn't mind paying a little bit up for only four and a half pounds of jewelry. Because I saw all this great stuff in there and I was like, okay, this is great. When I show, I've shared it with Barbie and this is the one she liked. This is a plastic uh, leopard print, animal print. That's just plastic. I don't think, it's not Bakel, I don't think. Let's see. No. Just Pratt. Uh, plastic. It's an open cuff. So any of you guys who like animal print? I saw this necklace on, on the picture and I was like, this is so flipping gorgeous. It's like, wait till you see this one. It, a lot of work went into this. Somebody made this, you can tell. Hold on, I gotta get this other one that's wrapped around it off of it. Yeah, tortoise. That's I couldn't think of it. That's what um that's what Murray was saying. Okay, this is nice. This is a heavily beaded multi-strand. It's got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and ten strands of, of beads. They're really cold. And then it goes all the way down like this. And then they've crocheted the clasp. That is not beads. That is crochet. And it's very, very, very heavy. Browns, gold. Uh, antique gold and white beads. Look at this necklace. Isn't this gorgeous? It's really heavy statement necklace. Think what is why. I I looked in close on this. Oh, it's tortoise. Okay. And none, none of the beads or anything we're missing. I'm going to try to show it to you closer. And it's really heavy, guys. And then it's on this kind of, I don't know if you call that change. It's like mesh. And then it goes into a lobster clasp. Here's the back of it. It's very heavy metal. That is not plastic. That is metal. Isn't that pretty, Angie? And this bead in the center... It's not cold. It's just a plastic bead, but it's just, it's just so pretty, so unique. It's got kind of a Native American flair to it, doesn't it? No, there's no maker's mark on this one. I kind of reminds me of this part. Kind of reminded me of one I got that was a goldette before, but no maker's mark that I can see anywhere on this. Me too. And it doesn't look like it has um, a ch something like that was um, marked or anything. You know, like a hang tag that fell off, maybe. No, can't find one. This is a nice silver tone twisted rope. Um, it's got a hang tag, but it doesn't really, it has a symbol on it I don't recognize. 
just a nice twisted. It's got to be like messed with twisted silver tone rope. See that kind of mesh rope? Does it marry that chain from the other one? I really, I had a gold debt, and I think, Angie, you bought a gold debt for me. Didn't that gold debt one have that kind of chain? It was like this. That's what it reminded me of when I first saw it in the picture. This has a hang tag on it. I don't know if you guys can see that symbol. Let me hold it straight. I don't even know if that means anything. Hold on a minute. Sorry, I shake. Did you like that necklace, Angie? I mean, everything was okay with it, right? And here's another one with one of those. Oh, this one has a hang tag on it. This is Chico's. So I got another Chico. Look at this, Chico's. Look, okay, first I'm going to show you the medallion, the pendant. Okay, and I'm going to show you the back of it, how it goes through there. And then it's through, the, 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 the chain is mesh. Isn't that neat? It's so heavy that that is going forward like that. You have to really, like, get it up on you to make it go straight. Like this. Ooh, look at this. It is an adjustable, blinged out, ooh la la. Oh, one of the rhinestones is half gone, but still. Look at that, look at that adjustable, blinged out ring. What, right here, it's missing half of that rhinestone, but still, unless you got up real close, you couldn't tell. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it, Angie. Yeah, I've noticed that about Chico Jewelry. They make some very big statement pieces. So that's an adjustable ring. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a glass. These are glass beads. I can tell they're cold. And then it's got a glass pendant on it. And the colors are black and red. I'm going to show it to you slow. See those black and red? And then look at the pendant that's hanging on it. That glass pendant. Isn't that beautiful? It's real heavy. It's glass. It's got a lobster clasp on it. Mary, what's that face for? Anybody need some big old, I'm just going to say, not going to say it. Silver bells, silver bells. Look, I don't even keep Christmas. I'm singing a Christmas song. That is just a massive silver bells. Um, oh, you're in shock. Okay. That is a bracelet. Oh, look, guys, I got another square bracelet like that other one. Look, you can stack them. This one's green. It's a cuff, and it's square, and it's in green sparkly. You like which one, Susan? This one? Because I know I'm delaying a little bit. This one?
Is this the one you like, Susan? Oh, okay. You can have it. I'll throw it in your box for free. All right. Anybody here speak Spanish? Because I have like, um, okay, I guess you wear this necklace like this. The toggle class was down here, but the pendants are hanging off the toggle clasp. Okay. The pendant is a flower with the inside all blinged out. And then it's a heart with a bunch of words written on it. And I was trying to read it and it's in a language. I don't know. It might be Spanish. It might be Latin. I don't know. It's something I can't, it's, Agun, dia, something, um, something, I don't know. I don't know what it says. But then it's interesting because the tall class is there. Then it goes up into a chain. Then it has some really heavy beads over here. So, some of my Spanish-speaking people need to need to send that to them. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Who likes peacocks? No, you're not gonna pay me. It was something that I would have threw I would have gave for a free gift, Susan. Who likes peacocks? Because have I got the bracelet for you? Mary, get your shocked face ready. I have never seen a peacock. It's a clamper bracelet. Look at this gorgioso bracelet. Yeah, I, I could type in some of the words and you could tell me if it's Spanish, Mary. Look at that peacock. There's the, the that's his eye, and it's some of his. And then there he goes down his body, and that's all of his plumes. Isn't that gorgeous, Angie? And it's around on a on a, on an antique gold. And then um, how do you get the clamper? And when the clamper comes open like that, it's not marked. It's absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. All of those things here is faceted, right? You guys are getting a sneak peek because I'll be deleting this video because I always delete my insomniac chit chat. That's, then I'll make a video, hopefully before my surgery Monday, because I do have surgery Monday, um, of this stuff and it'll come up. No, it's a it's a clamper bracelet, Anna. See, it opens up like that, and it's a bracelet. When I first saw, it, I thought brooch too, but wouldn't it make a pretty brooch? Okay, the next thing I pulled out is a charm bracelet. Um, it's a guest charm, right? It has a guest charm on it. Okay, do, do guest stuff sell for good money? Okay, it's a guest charm bracelet. It's gold tone. It's got this charm on it. It spells out guest. It has a heart on it. Oh, no, Angie, I'm having my gallbladder taken out Monday. I, I went and saw my anesthesiologist today no but i'm telling them i had to tell them today do not manipulate my shoulder when i'm on that operating table because i'm still underneath uh, my surgeon's thing my surgeons i can't reach back so they better not like rip my shoulder in this surgery there's a question mark for the guest question mark and then i believe it has a dolphin no it has a high heel boot on it Because I know they wrote it down in my notes, but when I'm on that operating table, before they knock me out, I'm telling my surgeon, do not manipulate my arm.
You know what I'm impressed with this bag too? Stuff isn't tangled up. I'm a barrel of fun, Angie. This is my, I had three surgeries last year. And this is my first one for this year. Okay, gold is good, yeah. Thank you, Angie. This is a little uh, bracelet that's glass stones, real heavy glass stones. It's, um, what am I trying to say, stretchy. But then it's got this cute little elephant on it with a leaf. You guys see that cute little elephant with a leaf? And then it's got all these great beads on there. They're um, glass. Last night I had a gallbladder attack and I I was uh I had to sleep in my chair in the living room. I didn't go to sleep till like six thirty in the morning. My mom opened my door and scared me at seven because I had to get up and be at the at the anesthesiologist by eight thirty. And I barely got any sleep, but I had to stay close to the bathroom, if you know what I mean. And then today I had a gall another gallbladder attack. So I'm getting it out right at the right time. Aren't those colors pretty? It's got some um it's earth tone colors. I really like earth tone colors. Okay, here's a necklace that is on um I usually don't like necklaces on like cords, but this is a multi-cord necklace. But I do like this pendant on here. I'm gonna show you the pendant. It's like red and gold glittery. It's a glass pendant. It's really heavy. And then it's on these multi multi-strand cords. But it's really neat. It's really pretty. It's really clean. All this jewelry is really looks clean to me. Right. It is, isn't it? And then I have this stretch bracelet that's heavy metal, but it's just it's stretched, but it's not stretched out. It's like a silver tone. Uh, finish on it. Yeah, I usually clean my jewelry too. I put it. That's why I got my Sonic jewelry cleaner. Okay. This had a lot of silver tone in it because I know you guys like silver tone. Oh, guess what I got? Guess what I got? Okay. Let's see if you can guess just by the style what brand necklace this is. Okay. I'm gonna show you the pendant. It's just a sil a thick silver tone chain. It's very long. It's got Got a barrel clasp. This is the pendant. Can you guys guess who made this? And then here's the pendant on the back. Not Chico's. Hey, wait a second. Hey, you know what this is? No, not trying that far. You guys can quit guessing because they they put two pieces together. Okay, what do you guys do in this situation? This pendant is Premier Design, a Premier Design pendant, okay? It's signed on the back. This silver chain is a 1928 because it's got a hang tag on it. Do you think I should keep that together or sell them separate? Because the pendant is Premier Design. And the chain with a barrel clasp is 1928. What you got it, Angie? This the pen, This is Premier Design. I just thought it all was 1928 because the the uh, the silver chain has. Hi, Jennifer. The silver chain has uh, separated. Susan, I thought so too. Because somebody will just buy the 1928 silver chain, won't they? Because it's long. It's a good. I'd say what 24 inches long. You missed a bunch of good jewelry, Jennifer, unless you've been um, just watching. Who likes butterflies? Here is a little pendant butterfly, and it's got one purple rhinestone, and then and they move, see? 
And then three clear rhinestones of pendant. Yeah, separate. I thought I should separate them. And it's gold tone. And it's got that kind of bail on it. It's not marked. It's really pretty. Oh, I am so impressed with this. I give it 10 thumbs up. You had 10 thumbs. This is a Chico. Oh, no one limit. Maybe it's not. I thought it was a Chico's. Dude, I got something yucky. I got some dirt underneath my fingernail. This is an Express. Isn't that a store in the mall? Kind of like, is that kind of like Claire's? Is Express like Claire's? I like all these. It's kind of like that mesh. But all together, and it's an Express necklace. Yeah, it is, okay. But still a nice necklace. Uh, Gunmetal gray. It's, it looks like, doesn't look like it's been worn. Look at this bracelet. It's a real heavy tone. Heavy tone. It's a real heavy, um, like weight wise, uh, bracelet that it's got like wire wrapped around it and then enamel. It's kind of a goldish, got a goldish yellow to it. it looks pretty wide. It almost looks like I get it on my hand, but I'm not going to get claustrophobic and get it on there and can't get it off. I'm almost down to the bottom, guys. Oh, here's another one that's got a hang tag. Uh, another Premier Design. They just throw all their Premier Design at me. Yeah, I'll take them. Look at this pretty pink pendant. Isn't that, is that a cat's eye? Oh, it's a cat's eye. I love cat's eyes. They memorize, they mesmerize me. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. Premier Design Necklace. That's a cat's eye. Oh, that's nice. Then it's like that. Silver on the back. And then it's on tiny seed beads. Isn't that gorgeous? It's Premier Design. I'm loving me some necklaces. When I get nice ones, I like them. Ooh, more cat's eye. Okay, look at this bracelet. It's silver tone, but every other one is a cat's eye. Look, Angie, you're getting sleepier. And then silver tone and cat's eye, and then it comes together and it's magnet. It's got like this kind of magnet clasp. Another one with a hang tag. AK, that's Anne Klein, right? Does that look vintage? This is an Anne Klein. AK is Anne Klein. Long silver tone with this pendant on it. Very heavy. The chain is kind of like what I call a mesh chain. I'm sure that it would be... Um, It's probably, isn't that called a box chain? Yeah, that's a box chain. You guys told me that's what it was called, a box chain. And it's Ancline. Does Ancline sell for good money or is that a cheaper jewelry? I don't, don't know. I'm not one that, I don't, I don't do a lot of shopping in stores, guys. I really don't. Does it resell for good, Angie? <clears throat> or is it just like run on the mill? So-and-so, okay. 
This thing is on a cord, but I would get it off the cord. It looks like a piece of pyrite that's been colored. You know, you know what pyrite is? You know, fool's gold? Depends on the item. Okay, I should look it up then. This is a piece of pyrite. I mean, I can just tell. I live in the cave state, and we we went to caves, and pyrite was everywhere. This is pyrite, and they've, they've like, colored it, or is some pyrite that color? What do you think? It's got, like, a rainbow color to it, but it's a piece of pyrite. It's on a cord. So you can tell it's pyrite from there. And it goes into blues and... Hey, I found a hang tag that fell off something. It's in the bottom of the bag. It's a Park Lane hang tag. But how do I know what it belongs to? I don't want to put it on the wrong thing. There was one that looked like it had a hang tag missing off of it. Oh, okay, Mary. I found a hang tag in the bottom and it's it's Park Lane and there was one of my necklaces was missing a hang tag. Oh no. Yeah, but which one was it? I know oh, but which one was it, Mary? Do you um, do you know? Do you remember which one I said that was missing a hang tag? I got them all laid out here in front of you, but you know me. Hurry, rewind the video and see. Oh, the Crown Trifari one was missing a hang tag, but I know that's Crown Trifari. Unless they mixed and mashed again. Oh, well, I have a park lane. Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? It was this one with the crown trifari. See, because it's missing, it's missing a hang tag, but that Park Lane can't go with a crown trifari unless they mix them up. Oh, bummer. Oh, well. There's something else with a hang tag. Let's see. This is one of those um, things that goes, I don't know what you call these. They're chokers, I know, but it goes around your neck. And then there is the, the jewel on the end of it. Now, it's got a hang tag. Can any of us guess what maybe the hang tag says before I look at it? You guys can guess while I'm looking at it. Oh, it's the one that I told you they keep throwing in the bag. Not Claire, not Park Lane. It's actually got the hang tag. It's the one I kept saying they just keep throwing in the bag. No, it's actually Premier Design. That's nice. Okay. And then I forgot to show you I had this bracelet. Real thick chain, gold chain. And then the last piece out of the bag... No, it's not. I got something else in there. Well, I got this glass pendant, which is kind of cool. And then the last piece is this necklace. This is the only one that's kind of, it's not really tangled. It's just twisted. It's a multi-strand silver tone box chain. That comes together like this. All this jewelry is in perfect condition. And it's wonderful. It was four and a half pounds. Now, you guys who saw all this, you know I got Crown Trifari. I got Guess. I got 
a bunch of Premier Design. I got regular Trifari. I got um, a bunch of Premier Design, like I said. And then Anne, Anne Klein. You saw everything I got. The beautiful peacock thing. Um, Trifari. And the three-piece set. Oh, Angie, you weren't here for the three-piece set. Angie, are you still here? I want to show Angie the three-piece set. Well, Jennifer didn't get to see either. Angie, are you still here? I know Jennifer's here. Hey, Jennifer, I'll show up for you if Angie's not here. This was, look at this monkey bolo tie. And it comes with matching earrings and a bracelet. See, then you slide it up, and then it comes with matching earrings. Isn't that neat? Anyway, um, so you guys saw all this stuff. What? I don't know what to ask you. I don't want to ask you what would you pay for. What would you, what, um, what do you think the value I've got here? And remember, I've got, oh, I got Whitey and Davis, too. Oh, you love monkeys? Well, that's a three-piece monkey jewelry piece of jewelry set. Did you get a good look at it? I can show you again. What do you? What would you guys value this at? I mean, my, my profit that I could make on it, maybe. Or maybe I should ask you, okay, what do you want me to ask you? What do you think, what would have been a good price to pay for this? Then I'll tell you how much I paid for it. Because you're my late night exomniacs. So hold on now, I'm going to go get my phone so I remember what I paid for. I'm going to wash my hands too. Talk amongst yourself. It won't take me long, I don't know how far to go. All right, I'm coming back. Okay. Is that what you would pay for it, Mary? $46? Or what you think I can get out of it? Out of everything. You guys tell me what you think that you, what would you have paid for all this? Not including shipping. Don't include shipping in it. Just tell me what you would have paid for it. I'll pay for it. Is that including shipping or not including shipping, Mary? Don't include shipping. And I will tell you what I actually paid for it. Not including. Okay. She said, Mary says $46. Susan says 52 That's without shipping. Okay, let me look up. Let me, um, let me refresh my memory. I'll be making a video, Jennifer, of all the stuff like on my good phone. Anybody else got any any guesses? It was four and a half pounds, and you saw everything I got. Okay, without shipping, guys. Guys, I paid. Are you ready? Nobody else is gonna. Nobody else is gonna guess. Susan said fifty-two, and um, Mary said, "What did you say, Mary? Forty something, didn't you? Forty-six. 
I paid without shipping. I won this with a bit of, are you ready? Drum roll. $17. Oh, yeah. $17 is what I paid. That was the winning bid. And then, of course, I added on shipping to that. And I'll tell you my total price I paid. See, so don't give up on Shop Goodwill. That is a great price, isn't it? So total with my bid, uh, with my bid and the shipping, the shipping was a total of $12.11. So I paid $29.11 total. That was with the shipping. So So my total with shipping was only 29.11. So you know a lot of people are down on Shop Goodwill, but you know what I read today? I read an article today. I don't know if you guys have seen this. That thank you, Jennifer. That 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 some of the Goodwills, not Shop Goodwills, but some of the Goodwills, like in New York and stuff, have teamed up with I believe it's Thread Up to sell their stuff at a higher at a higher price. So they're saying that Goodwills are kind of like going, they're, they're kind of caught on that all of us resellers are reselling this stuff and they're trying to get more money out of it. Thank you, Mary. I really got a great, great lot of jewelry here. Like I said, I'll film it on my camera <clears throat> and make it look all nice and pretty. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I've never bought a thread up and I don't think I'm going to. Susan, I didn't understand what you said um, about the three-piece set. You said three-piece set, I would. What'd you mean? But apparently, like, the more posher Goodwills, like, that are in New York and other big cities, are teaming up with ThreadUp to put their stuff on ThreadUp site. I'm pretty sure it was ThreadUp. I really don't want to put this back in the bag. I'm going to have to get my thing over there and, like, put all the necklaces in it. Hold on just a second, guys. I, I want to get this all picked up, but I want to get my boxes sort of talks amongst yourselves. My handy dandy boxes. I've never ordered for thread up and I don't think I'm going to. I've heard too much stuff about it. Oh, Susan, are you still here, hon? Did you fall asleep or did you go take your dog out? I got something else to show you that I got today. I don't. I put it in a box and then I clean it because if I put it back in this bag, it's going to get tangled. Oh, yeah, that would be true, Susan, wouldn't it? Hold on a minute, Susan. I'm going to show you and the other lady something that I bought today. I went in a, um, if I can find it, what I do with it. I'm bad about putting stuff places and I think I'll remember where it's at.
I think I had it on top of one of these bags. Actually, on top of one of these. Oh, man, guys, I'm looking for something. I'm the kind of person, too, if I can't find something, it drives me crazy. Until I find it. I'm kind of seeing a side view of me. Yes, me. But I can I can pair some of this stuff up. <coughs> if I can find what I bought today. Where did I put it? I'll be back in a minute, guys. I really want to show you something, and I can't find it. It's going to bug me until I find it. Oh, this is not good. I did was lay it down on top of one of these things and I think I dropped it. Oh crud. I see a light. It's a flashlight. Don't go toward the light. Unless you're ready. I can't find what I was going to show you guys. I'm here, sorry. You're ready, Susan? You want me to turn back on the light? I oh, don't know, Susan. It's been that kind of life, has it? That kind of day? I feel you, sister. I feel that way a lot of days. I'm like, let's do this over again? I don't want to. Don't make me. Oh, man, that makes me so upset. I can't find. And I just had them, too. But anyway, let me show you this. Okay. Now, look at this. I can sell this peacock beautiful bracelet. And look what I got to go with it. Beautiful peacock earrings. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be good together? But I got these earrings today, and they're owls. They're articulated owls, and they would go with this 
Oh, they're in my purse. I know where they're at. They're in my purse. Hold on, I'll go get them. Let me look in the bottomless pit of a purse. Yeah, it would go. My, the, yeah, the owls would go with the necklace. Let me find them. I went into one because uh, I was over in the town where it had thrift stores, and I went into one thrift store, and I could find one pair of cell phone. But hey, they were they were they were worth it. I'm gonna find them now. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be one of those take everything out of the purse. Uh, oh, here they are. All right, all right, all right. Look at this, Susan. You love owls. I know a lot of you other people. Oh, these match so well. They're brushed gold, too. Okay. Selling what earrings? The peacocks and the owls? Here's the owls. Look. Wouldn't that go great with this necklace? They're meant to be put together. It was meant to be. There's the owl necklace. There's the owl. Yeah, I'm going to sell the owl necklace, owl uh, earrings and the peacock earrings. Oh, yeah. They're not mine. I bought them to resell. Look at that. They are meant for each other. Both zigzag design, both enamel. Isn't that something that I've just picked these up today and then it come home and I had my shop Goodwill in there. And uh amazing. They match. I didn't even know. Isn't that awesome? So I'm really happy with this. So I think along with um, the the south the, the north central shop goodwill in Wisconsin that I always kind of like weed out when I look at shop. Shop, Good, uh, Shop Goodwill. I will also look now at the um, Heartland one. It's called Heartland. Shop Goodwill Heartland. And it is um, comes out of Iowa. So we are good. So don't give up on Shop Goodwill. I know it gets aggravating a lot of the times. I read your notes, Susan. You said uh, you want them, but charge you and send them on i don't know you know i would love to but sometimes i feel like if i do that with my preview stuff i don't want to be unfair to other people who might want them in an auction but i mean how do you guys feel like that i mean susan says she wants them and she's willing to pay me for them is that unfair i mean i don't i don't ever want to make anybody upset you know what i mean But the owl thing is American Eagle. Um, for the for the owl and the and the earrings, I would like fifteen. Would you pay fifteen for them, Susan? Is that too much? And if it's too much, tell me because I'm never sure of my prices, and I'll go down. Seriously. I would make the worst salesman in the world. I'd go door to door and be like, you don't want to pay that much? I wouldn't pay that much for that, you know. Um, let, let's make a side deal. <laughs> um, well, it should be on battery saver mode. I've got it plugged in. It must not be. Hold on a minute, guys. My thing's telling me that it's, it's dying. It shouldn't be.
There, it just need to be wiggled around. Well, I know that I won't get $15 out of them at an auction. So, Susan, if you want them, they're yours for $15. Do you want me to um, put them in your items now? And then just bill you for them? I'm going to put them in your items now and bill you for them, okay, Susan? Because that way you don't have to pay. You're paying so much shipping on all that stuff you bought. Is that okay? And it doesn't matter to me. I can bill you like at the next auction you're at. And so you could, you know, pay it all together. Whatevs. Okay. Well, I know you'll pay me. I'm not saying you won't pay me. I'm just saying, okay, well, then I'll put, put these to the side for you. And I will um, put them in your stuff. I'm going to try to get your stuff boxed up and, and for tomorrow. But I'm trying to box it up. I got to go out in the car and get the box out. I don't go outside. There's critters out there at nighttime. Something was going against my door last night and making an awful sound. I didn't know what it was. And then um, I want to get a real quick picture of it, too, for my video. I'll just take a snapshot of it and put it at the end of my video. So I'll put them in with your other stuff, okay, Susan? You can just pay. I'll just, I'll send them to you and then I'll wait till my next auction. I'll make a note and um, you always buy at my auctions and then the next thing you buy from me, I'll put it on that. That way, you know, what, I don't know, whatever. Because I know you have, um, your income is like monthly and stuff, so it doesn't bother me to wait. You're a good customer, so. I'm good with it. But I set them aside for you and I'll wrap them up and put them with your stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your stuff in a medium priority flat rate, which is what I charged you for. But I've also got this box. I'm going to try to put your stuff and then weigh it and see if it can go go. Uh, ground shipping cheaper and if it's cheaper then then we'll like wiggle the difference you know what i mean because you got so much jewelry coming your way from me you're gonna have a field day playing with it for a while Oh, you're an excellent customer. I know, Mary, aren't we all? I, I don't have any girls to check on, but I, I should brush my teeth, take my pills, and go to bed. But after falling asleep this morning at 6.30 and then getting up at 7, and then I came home and took a nap, and it wasn't a restful nap. I never sleep restfully. Um, I'm up. I'm not tired. And every time I eat, not to be personal, but because of the bad gallbladder, if you've ever had a bad gallbladder, you got to kind of wait for hours to see what's going to happen. And literally, I've been waiting for hours like, okay, am I going to have an accident or not? Seriously, it's like that. I can't wait to get my gallbladder out. I figured your girls were cats or dogs. I didn't think you had children. I didn't think you were talking about children, I mean. Cats scare me. I'm sorry, cats scare me. And I don't know what changed in my life. I used to like them when I was a kid, but they scare me. They scare me. I have nightmares about cats. Okay, Susan, he was just, it was just a real quick, you know, open up your mouth, let me see your passageway. You don't have diabetes, do you? And right on the folder he's reading it says I'm diabetic. You have trouble with anesthesia? Yeah, I've only said it about 20 times. It makes me extremely ill. I told him today, I told him, I told the nurse today, I said, do not give me 
opiates when I wake up. I do not want opiates. So they don't do nothing for me, and um, I don't like them. They make me woohoo. I don't like feeling woohoo. I know some people like that, but not me. I'm serious. Cats scare me, Mary. I mean, I know some people are cat people, but but like I told you guys, I don't know if you were around, Mary. I told you like it was like two summers ago. There was a little. We kept hearing something outside, and it sounded like an animal, and then it didn't, and we couldn't tell what it was. And that's why I'm like, Mom, that sounds like a cat, like a small cat, like a kitten, like a little bitty kitten. And we finally found it. It was this tiny, tiny black little kitten. I mean, it wasn't even weaned. You could tell it was like. I don't know how it survived because we heard it for like three days. It was hot, hot summertime. So I got it and we were feeding it. I was feeding it with an eyedropper. And we'd feed it with an eyedropper, feed it with an eyedropper. And then it was like, I can't keep this around here. I'm not, I'm not a cat person. And I'm not. So I took it to the um, animal shelter around here. That's a no kill animal shelter and um, pay and gave them. They don't, they take them for free, but they don't, they don't, um, they don't, they're no kill, which I like about them. And they they don't make you pay for them to take them. But I gave them a donation, you know, to help them. Because I get it either like, I don't think somebody must have dumped it. Maybe it crawled like underneath somebody's car or something. We had workmen here and then it got dropped down. And it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so, it was so tiny. I don't know how it survived. We just kept feeding it with an eyedropper and it could barely take that. So, I mean, even though I'm scared of them, I'm not mean to them. It was cute. I named it, um, I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl until I got it out to the animal shelter. I named it Sparkle. It didn't turn out to be a boy. I was like, okay, Sparky then. We can deal. We can deal. But I'm surprised it didn't die. It didn't dehydrate out there. Because it was like, it was one of those summers where we were having like 100 degree weather. Somebody might have dumped it off. People are mean like that. Thank you for what? For being nice to the cat? No problem. I don't see the point of being mean to an animal. I mean, I don't like cats, but I, I was holding that thing. It was so cute. It kept going like this. It kept like covering. He kept going like this with his little paw. I had it in my hands because I tried to put it in a box like without a lid. And on the way out to the animal shelter, my mom was driving. And I was like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And it, and I took it out of the box. It kept going like, oh, my life is so hard. I said, it's going to be okay. You're going to be fine. They're going to find you a home. So, but there would have been no way I could have kept up feeding it with the eyedropper. And, you know, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to keep alive. I was hoping out the animal shelter, you know, they have the people to feed it like that. Or they could possibly have a mama cat out there who was already nursing her babies and would, you know, sometimes other animals take on an animal like that and would nurse it. So I knew that it would be better off at the animal shelter than with me. And it's something about cats, too. I think they know that I'm scared of them. Every cat comes up to me. I mean, they had my mom and dad's house up there. It kept coming down to my house. I was like, okay, that cat likes me. Oh, do they? I didn't know they did. They sold little bottles of people. We had an eyedropper from some medicine, and we cleaned it and used the eyedropper and was feeding it milk. I mean, we had, it was like a baby. We were feeding it every two hours till we got a hold of the animal shelter. And of course, we had cats when we were kids, outside cats. They do. They always come up 
to me because I have family members who have cats inside and they're always like, they come to me and rub up against me and they jump on my lap. I'm like, oh, I'm terrified of you. How do they, Mary? They always claim that that about kids, like little kids will know, will sense who's nice, you know, like babies and my animals will too. You have a small rhinestone bracelet that has two black rhinestones, one on each side of a football-shaped design in the middle, and it looks factory set, not replaced. I would leave it. See, I'm not like that with cats. I mean, my, my nephew had a cat, and it died like last year. It was old. Um, it always liked me, and but it was a good, it was a decent cat. I mean, it... I jump up on you and it was just gentle. And I just sit there and pet it. I think I would I would change it if it looks like it's factory set. Susan. Why are you wanting to change it? Are you not liking the black rhinestones? What color is the um black tents look better with silver tone? Is it silver tone or gold tone? It's, I know it's a rhinestone bracelet, but it doesn't have any silver tone or gold tone on it. Oh, it looks odd to you. Oh, uh, I think I think uh, black rhinestones usually look better with silver tone. But that's me. I have to see a picture of it. You could send me a picture of it through Messenger. I wish Dragonfly was here tonight because I accepted her friend request on Facebook. Not too many people up tonight. But I'm glad you guys joined me and got to see all my jewelry. I'm actually going to take a picture of this necklace and earring set before I put it in Susan's stuff so I can have it to put at the end of my video. I have my phone around. Ow! I just poked myself with some earrings. I use that, um, what's the jewelry glue, glue called? I can't remember. It's like E something. Isn't it called E something? But I'm not, I'm not one who repairs stuff. Ask Susan. I'm not a repairer. She repairs stuff all the time and redoes it and remakes jewelry i just got some of that one glue you guys told me to get it was e something i don't know. it stinks so i know it's really 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 strong I didn't think very good. Yeah, I know. I heard, I heard that. I kind of picked up on that story. What kind of glue do you use, Susan? Mary's asking. I use the kind you guys told me to get, which was ESA. I don't remember what it was called. Because I'm not a repairer. You guys are repairers. And jewelry people. I buy and sell. Seriously, it's not taking right. I got a flash on, but it's still taking dark. Yeah, E six thousand. That's what I. That's what I use. What I've used when I've repaired something. Oh, okay, I will, Mary. 
I'm trying to take pictures of Al's stuff so I can have it for the end of my video. I don't want to focus. Quit. Still coming off real dark. Oh, really, Mary? You found that at the, at the bottom of the boxes? Sorry, guys, but if I don't remember to do this right now. I will not remember it. Yeah, that one looks better. I know I try to check the post. I learned that from watching a um Texas Gal Treasures to check the posts of Arians. If I take all this stuff out of this box. There's nothing in there. This can be used for um, Susan's stuff, though. I used to watch a lot of Clad, Clad Queen. I haven't kept up with my video watching. I've been looking for um, a job and stuff. I can't really apply to some of these online tutoring jobs until after I have my surgery because they don't want to. They want you to work, start working right away, and I gotta. I don't know how much recovery time I'll have in after my surgery. Well, since I put all this away, I don't know if I'll do a video on it or not, but I'll, I'll try to. I, I can remember what's what because I've only got it separated into necklaces, and then mostly had necklaces in there, and then this bag is the bracelet, so... I just know that, that E6000 or whatever, E600 or 6000, it is stinks! It's like I think I'm ruining some brain cells by using it. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll be back in a minute. The sprouted grain bread from Aldi is called Knock Your Sprouts Off. I 
cute, knock the sprouts off. It has boxing gloves on it. I have got to send these pins off too. I have, right now, while I'm sitting here and you guys are watching, I am going to put these and wrap these up. Um, I don't know if you guys know Deborah Cabasa. Do you guys know Deborah Cabasa? She um, comes to some of the auctions. She has her own channel. And it's underneath her name, Deborah, with a O R A H, <clears throat> like this. She um, does a few jewelry openings and stuff. That's how you spell her name. Anyway, why while while I'm telling you this is she uh, has bought stuff from me. She won something from me one time. And uh, oh, you've seen her in chats. She's really sweet, and uh, her daughter is young, like, I'd say early 20s, I think, and she's um, on the kidney transplant list, so she was just recently, her doc daughter was hospitalized, so uh, her daughter likes, I asked her what her daughter likes, she likes angels, so I'm sending her some angel pins, I've got this one that is a brooch, and it's also can be put on a necklace, then I've got this little pin that is an angel holding a bingo card, really cute. And then I've got this pin that's an angel. So I'm going to send it to Deborah to send on to her daughter. Deborah won one of my giveaways one time where it was like a jewelry box and I put stuff in it. So I'm going to sit here and wrap these up while you guys, so I can mail them my other stuff. I'm wrap them in these pieces of foam I just got in my thing. And, uh, she lives in Florida. So I'm going to. Oh, really, Susan? Yeah, that'd be a good idea to do that. So I'm going to send these her way to give to her daughter. Just as kind of a. Hang in there kind of gift. About time for me to buy some more tape. I like this foam stuff. It's almost better than bubble wrap. But this is good. A little note in there that these are for your daughter. I wish I knew what her, I don't remember what her daughter's name is. She might not have told me. You do to what? I don't know which one you're answering. Yeah, I have the small boxes, too. I order those from Amazon. I get, like, 200 of them really cheap. So if you get something from me, I like to put them in the small boxes. But um, and then I'll put these. I'll put this in a small box. Yeah, that's good, too. And then, hold on a second, guys. And I was using bigger poly mailers from Amazon, but I started ordering these smaller ones because the bigger ones... We're just too big. I get these from Amazon. I like using these because if you got mailmen who or your mailbox leaks, your stuff won't get wet. And then uh, slip these down in here.
jot her off a little note so she knows what's going on. Oh, that was nice, Mary. And then tell her these are for her daughter. Let's put on a little sticky note. But if I do it in front of you guys, and you know how if you're like held accountable to do it right, like then you'll do it. I've been having to sit here for a while. I always figured if I put it in a pickup order, everybody keeps telling me, well, they pick it up, they pick it up. It'd just be my mail lady driving down my driveway, and I thought, savor the trip. I can walk down to the mailbox. So we'll weigh this, which isn't going to be much. Two ounces, probably. Yep, two ounces, told you. And that will cost about $2.84 to ship, so big whoop. Brighten somebody's day for less than $3. And then I'll send that to Deborah. She sent me her address in a message. <coughs> you guys who resell, do you print off all your own labels? I do. Hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to go turn on my printer. get my other computer you know what's weird about this i told you guys i couldn't my other computer see i have a bigger computer and uh it won't like youtube won't recognize the webcam on there but when i went to do an interview uh to see if my camera worked to do an interview it came on and i'm like why is youtube the only thing that, that thing won't recognize youtube won't recognize the camera how about a whole, this whole new camera it's so only no laptop just to do these lives. You know, like five people here and only a couple people talking. Roll call. Who's here? I don't know if you guys know this. Just because you sent out invoices on PayPal, does isn't the only way that you can print off your posters through pay, through PayPal. There's a link that you can use, and no matter what you sell, like, I'm not charging Deborah for this. I'm just sending friend mail. So instead of going to the post office and standing there and waiting for them to do it, I have a, I go in and just make it off of PayPal without an invoice. Oh, I'm sorry. She doesn't live in Florida. She lives in Connecticut. How did I get that one wrong? Hi, Jennifer. Oh, you're there working and listening? Okay. Did you see all the pretty jewelry I got? What are you working on, Jennifer? Yeah, I weigh the package, yeah. I have a postal scale I bought from Amazon long when I first started reselling. And whatever it is, like that was 1.6 ounces, uh, you round up. Oh, cool. I'm waiting for this laptop to, because it was. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was, if I'm going to sell anything else before my surgery Monday, I need, need to get on the ball and do it. But tomorrow, it's Thursday now, and I probably won't, because I won't be in any position to mail anything out. I'm not going to put that on my mom.
I should shut down that this laptop has Windows 8 on it. This one has Windows 10. This one is always doing updates all the time. Well, like if it's okay, say if it's if it weighs an ounce, then you're gonna put it at an ounce when you put in to calculate your shipping. But if it's like 1.1 or 1.8, you round it up to two, and you put it in as two ounces. Anything over that, even if it's over that decimal point's got anything over it, you round the number up. Because when I go in here to make my label, they're gonna ask me how I'm shipping it. I'm gonna put it in first class, the weight. And the day I'm mailing it, and then it calculates it, lets me pay with PayPal, and then I print it off. And I get all my labels for free from USPS from UPS. I go on UPS and I order them and they give them to me free. I've done this for over a year now, so that's why when um I like weigh you guys' stuff after you buy it, and I can guesstimate how much to charge you because it's actual shipping. If you go on U, UPS, you can order these labels that print, fit any printer. There's two of them on a page, and they're sticky. They peel off. And you all you have to do is set up an account with them, and it's just, you know, put your name and stuff in there. And you can order them for free. You get a package of 100 for free. And then when you ship using PayPal, you save on your postage. Like something that costs you $3 at the post office will cost you like $2.84 through, PayPal, through the PayPal. And that's adds up. I'm I'm frugal. Have we met? I'm frugal. I'm also hungry again. Do you want me to show you what the label when the label comes out? I'll show you what it looks like. I always find ways to get things the cheapest way possible. Of course, when I started this, I had nothing in a PayPal account, so I had to start it. And then start building up my PayPal account. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to print at home than it is to go to the post office. And I I use ink, but but that's fine. I mean, it is cheaper. You get a little bit of a discount by printing that way. Oh, I didn't know that, Susan. I don't do a lot of repair and stuff because I'm just, it doesn't interest me to repair. So I send it on to you guys who know how to do it. Okay, update the computer. So in order to print, um, without having an invoice, because after you, you've charged somebody something and they send you the money, see, I'm sending this as friend mail, but I want to print off my label. So there's a certain website I use, um, a certain link I use to get into my PayPal, and then I can just make a shipping label without having something, without having, you know, something there that an invoice has been paid. I save it in my bookmarks. It was complicated to me at first, too. But I just do a Google search. I mean, because I was... When internet was first starting, I was in college, and I had to learn, and the internet looked so different back then. I had to learn on my own how to use the internet, so I just continue that with everything. So I go to my bookmarks, and I can give you guys the, um, this is what it is. I'm going to put it in here for you guys. And you don't have to have the HTTPS. It's that right there instead of just going to PayPal. And that will take you to the page. 
that will allow you to just make a label up um, with a barcode and everything on it and print it off so you can ship anything. Oh, I probably put the S after the PP. Let me edit it. You guys know there's an S after that, don't you? Put an S after that HTTP. It's HTTP S, but you don't even have to use it. And then you log, it just tell you to log into your account and you do. And then um, it'll take you to a page. I wish I could show you. It takes you to a page that says create shipping label. And it brings it up. I don't know if you guys can see this. You can't see that at all. Like that, it says ship to address. And then you're going to fill in the customer's name. address you press ship to this address And then it takes you to a place that that that, that make that says, okay, do you, how do you want to send this? And you want to send it first class, and you're going to send it in a package, and it's going to be two ounces. I'm going to calculate the cost. And it's going to say that your PayPal balance is 284 at the at the at the post office you'd pay 3 or over it wouldn't be that 284 so you're saving a little bit of money that way and then i just paid for it out of my PayPal account and i push print Then it's going to print. But you don't need that HTTPS anyway. If you just go www.paypal.com backslash ship label backslash create, it should take you to it. If you've got a PayPal account, you might be able to hear in there it's going to print off. And I'll show you what the label looks like. Okay, when you order these labels from <clears throat> UPS, they're on a sheet like this, and there's two of them. And they just, I don't want to show you the front of it because it's got her address on it. And you just take them like this, and you peel them off, and you have a label that's sticky on the back, and it's got your stuff printed on the front, okay? Now, since this is a small bag, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to cut it. And it has everything on there. It has the, uh, Postage has been paid. That it's a first class package and everything.
I'm going to stick it on there. And it is good to go. There you go. That's all there is to it. Ready to ship out. It's so much easier than, and I don't, I'm sorry, I don't trust the post office because I've been up there and one day they quote me one price and the next day they quote me another price and I'm like, I'll just do it at home. So, like I said, guys, knoppers, they're really good. So, I've been on for two hours. I think I'm going to go, guys. I hope you enjoyed all the jewelry that you saw tonight. And I will be doing a video on it sometime. And then uploading it. Um, you haven't gone over and watched my travel trailer video of my, you know, I got two thumbs down on people watching my travel trailer. People are mean. I think my travel trailer looks nice. I have people give me thumbs down. They don't even wait. I don't think they watch it. They just give me a thumbs down. So. And the next one I'll do an inside, but I got to clean up and everything. Not clean up, but just um, everything. Thank you, Mary. But you got to see my pretty, 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 pretty place where I live. It's very cute. I think people hear that you're living on a travel trailer and they're like, ew. Like, um, I have, my travel trailer is better than some people's houses, so don't knock it. But anyway, um, uh, the guy's coming tomorrow to fix the whatever goes off of the, it's like a vent thing for the refrigerator. So anyway, I will let you guys go. Have a good night. This will be deleted. People just, they didn't come. They didn't get to see, did they? And I will talk to all you guys later. Have a good night. Good morning. Good whatever. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. 1.30 in the morning. I'm hungry. See what I can rustle up. Might have me a sweet tater. Night, everybody.